here is what uh, we're gonna do. Uh, basically, uh, we're gonna take the profile and we're gonna replace this box with the profile. So here is how we'll do it. We double click on the profile and we'll uh, use copy paste. So basically it will be option C uh, on Mac, control C on uh, window. And after that we'll modify the component for the um, for the brick and we're gonna do control V on uh, Windows or up option uh, V on Mac and basically we just paste the profile inside of this particular component as you can see the profile got multiplied per each of the bricks and uh, now inside of the component itself we're gonna erase the initial box which we built. So we'll, uh, we'll need to make sure we erase all the parts of that initial box uh, and including also the parts on the back. And after that, with the follow me tool, we'll take the profile and we're gonna build our brick. And here it is. This is our arch. Now we need to do some cleanup, as you can see, I have a line from the previous one, so again, we'll just go erase and erase the initial line, which uh, we have it. And now we have a clean, uh, clean brick. But here is a small issue which we have, uh, because the follow me tool is following the normal, that means the perpendicular to the circle, you see here we have some overlaps so this one uh, still should be as a, a box we have a volume that means uh, we can use the solid uh, modifiers and i need to make sure i will uh, trim the box as it should so i can make it nicely so did you remember the initial one this one well we're gonna double click on this again we're gonna move it on the side with a copy and again we'll uh, push pull this one and we're gonna create uh, another box or you can just uh, reinsert the previous box you can do that as well still uh, you should have it in the components here so you can uh, just take uh, this one but right now it's modified so this one will, uh, will make the component Let's create component one and we're gonna move it again. For this exercise, I will use the icons. And here is what uh, we're gonna do here. I need actually the upper part and the lower part. So on this particular box, I will double click on it and with push pull P and control, I will make the copy and again, with push, pull, and control, or uh, option key on Mac, I will make the copy. So now I just extrude, extrude the face of my component, and I will just select this one and get rid of it. But I will have this face and this face. Okay. So now I can use the solid modifiers. So I can uh, go with on tools, solid tools subtract this one from this one okay we can make those as uh, as a copy so uh, solid modifiers tools solid tools subtract so the first one will be this and the second one will be this and as you can see I have trimmed the element. The only problem is these ones are not trimmed because I just recreate the element. So again, we'll uh, delete those ones. And do you remember how we did it last time? Let's double check to make sure it's got a face. Yes, we'll uh, do a rotation and we need four elements we'll take this end like this click on option or control on mac 
and we're gonna say for x. And here it is, nicely done. So we have our bricks for the arch, and now let's uh, dress up a little bit also the the bottom. So this one here again, we can just uh, push it up. You remember it was this element was divided in four, so we'll just take. Uh, one of the faces as a reference like this and again we'll uh, make the component we're gonna say uh, brick again and we'll uh, move this one with a copy and we'll do basically the same thing as we did for uh, rotate control uh, keep on control and we need three elements, so it's 3x. And here it is. We have built also our uh, part of the elements. So uh, select all those, which are 3D. And you can put them in 3D. Double click on the first one, you can put them on 3D as well. Same for this one. Same for this one. You select them, you put them in 3D and double click on it, select everything, and you can put them in 3D. And now, you need to do the same thing for the other ones as well, basically. And this one is in 3D. Just to clean up, uh, clean up your uh, drawing, basically. My intention was to to do that prior to do the copy, of course. But uh, since I I forgot to do it, now I can quickly do for the elements. But I'll not do it for this guy because this guy I will uh, I'll make it independent. Actually, he is independent right now. So any modification which I will do for it is not gonna affect the other ones. The reason why I want this like that is because I want to trim it as well. So again, we'll, uh, we'll draw a box. Let's go on this side here. We'll draw a box and again, we'll push it. And we'll, uh, we'll select this box. We do not need to select that arch. We do not need actually the arch itself. But uh, for this exercise, shift control. We take that off and again, uh, make a component, let's say cut box because we're gonna have a, a trim. And again, you can use the modifiers. Uh, you can use the icons if you like, but if you go to solid tools, subtract, and the second one will be this one. And here it is, we have our perfect cut in the arch. And we can uh, go on the layers and hide, we can go on 3D, we can hide this one. So I realized that this guy should be, of course, in 3D as well. Double click on it, make it 3D. And when we hide the path, we have only our arch. Now the easy part, select it, move it on the side with a copy again. And with uh, the scale tool, we can go back, make it minus one here, and move from end to end. So, here you go. This is our arch, divide by component. And it's uh, very exact, it's volumetric. You can be 
use this one for uh, 3D print without problems. It's got a volume, it's a closed volume, it's not a mesh. And uh, also, you can uh, copy this one and uh, make additional uh, drawings. Uh, another thing which you can do, uh, since uh, we are here in uh, drawing mode, we can uh, do uh, bottom uh, support for the window. Let's say if this is a window, we can draw a triangle as I just draw. Basically, we can. We can draw another one like this if, if you want to build a box again, push it up a little bit up to here. Same, uh, you draw a line, or you can move this line, maybe it's easier like this. Move this one from here to here, and we'll uh, make a, a component. Let's say uh, parapet, which is the bottom of the uh, gothic arch, and we can move this one. Let's move it here, same. So just just to look nice, we can double click on it. We can go on this side and move it from here. We'll select this this line here, and we're gonna move that line from here to somewhere. Let's say somewhere here, somewhere here. We can keep that arch. Uh, uh, yeah, I think here will be fine. It's gonna look nice. Okay, you can move it whatever you like. That's fine. I, I just want to try to keep this this uh, nice uh, profile. And of course, we go on the other side, and we'll uh, push this one up to this space here. Okay, and as I said, uh, this this is a volume. We can uh, we can move this down. We can move it uh, up to the first brick. We can exit. So we can uh, we can do a solid uh, uh, modification. So we'll select this one and this one and this one. Oops, this this. So those three. And again, we can go to solid and make union. So basically, we just unify all those uh, elements. Now, if you want to have a nice uh, uh, area, we can uh, smooth the faces for all of them. So it's going to look a little bit nicer. And on this one here, again, we can use push-pull tool and we can uh, have a nice uh, profile like this. And again, if uh, if you want to add more elements, you can draw a line. Uh, you can draw a line from here to here. Saying, and we'll push pull again. You can push this. Oops, too much. You can push this a little bit, and you have a nice. Uh, arch with a parapet, it's basically a window with a parapet behind and uh, again you can copy this element, you can uh, trim it and you can do whatever you like with it. So I hope uh, you like this uh, small tutorial, uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, if you like uh, to have a model like this let me know, uh, try to do you by yourself, it's uh, not really complicated, it's uh, relatively easy as long as uh, you pay attention to the details.